I have two brothers and one sister. Uh, one brother is older. Uh, the other two are younger. Um, you know, I, I got to say it's really a sad story. Um, you know, through, through DCF, we were split up. Um, aside from one very temporary placement, uh, we were never together. Um, and, you know, that's just the way I grew up. Uh, here I am, 22. Uh, all of them are grown, over 18. Uh, and we don't have a relationship. Uh, I know that, you know, they can call me up anytime. And, you know, if they need something, I will drop everything and, and be there for them. Uh, but if not, then we really don't talk too much. I've been in the system since I was eight. And all three of my siblings went in at the same time. Uh, my mother had another child, and that's my youngest brother, and I haven't seen him at all. And the excuse I was given was um, because of the situation between the three of us and his specific case, I'm not allowed to see him. I was granted one visit to be able to see him, and I, um, that was when he was three. Now the issues that I have is I'm the oldest in my family, so I've always been the one to look out for everyone else. They split us up. So we visit. As a kid growing up in the system, I looked forward to that monthly visit. It was great. It was phenomenal to know, all right, this is the day I'm going to see my brothers and I'm going to see my sister. It was great. Um, well, on a happier note, I have a younger sibling, and um, we've remained in contact the entire time we were in care. We were placed together for several years, but even when we were separate, um, we had direct communication with each other. and. I can say that it's helped tremendously. She is not here today because she just started college, and you know I'm I'm proud of her. But I know that you know, I'm 40 minutes away from her in Providence, and if she needs something, and she can call me. So having that is, that is, you know, a sibling bond is sort of an ultimate long-term connection. And so to foster those, I think, is very important. If you're put into care, you definitely need to have somebody by your side. And I tell you, my little brother's 10. And I could not imagine what it would be like to not being able to see him at all, especially with the circumstances that me and him have grown up in. He's been, he looks up to me, and I really would not see.